What's up guys, Delivery Matt here. So we are back with more Pokemon Horizons. I am really feeling this show. I really, really like it. So that's why I'm recording a lot of it, just because I'm in the mood to watch it. So I want to catch up as soon as possible. Um, and once I'm done with that, I really want to catch up with other anime. That's why I'm also kind of rushing through it. And I think this kind of format works better for me. Just kind of binge one anime fast and then move on to the next one instead of watching like one or two episodes a week of each anime and watching like four or five anime at a time uh i'm not a fan of that kind of grind you know so i'm gonna do it this way probably for the for foreseeable future at least um once i'm done with this anime i'm gonna catch with catch up with all the weekly ones i might catch up with them during like while i'm watching this one as well at least with a few episodes but i'm not sure uh anyway I just listened to the newest song that came out from Pokemon. That was a banger. Um, and now we're going to go into the next episode of Pokemon Horizons. Before I do that, um, the full uncut, unblurred, uh, unedited reaction is going to be on my Patreon. Link in the description down below, as always. So recently I also got a comment for the series. Uh, and they also contacted me on Twitter, which is down in the description. Uh, and thank you very much to this person who told me about, you know, how in the previous episodes, if you've seen them, you know that the subs were a bit, they weren't implemented or uh, I guess they weren't included correctly or imported into the video correctly. So I went to the official page of the fan subs and I got them from, got the video from there. And now it should be a lot nicer, everything. The subs should be hard-coded into it now, instead of just soft um, soft sub, you know? And it being in a weird-ass weird format. So, anyways, this should be nicer now. In the last episode, we... So, we, we saw Roy had a shiny Rayquaza in his Pokeball, that's right. And we also saw Rico's Pendant Saver again. We also got to know a little bit about a new crewmate or a crewmate that has been, always been on the ship, but it's a new character for us named Dot, who's... Is it Maroc? Is that the guy's name? The chef? Uh, it's his niece, I think he said. So that's interesting. It's also... Uh, they're also the VTuber, or not VTuber, but YouTuber, I guess, uh, in, the, is in this world. The YouTuber that Rico always watches. So, I am interested to see how that character is going to come into play here. If it's going to be the third part of the crew, or if it's just going to be another member of the Rising Voltakers. I guess we're going to find out. So, let's go into episode... I think this is episode 9 of Pokemon Horizons. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. What's going on here? going on there? Ah, uh, there's late night snack. Oh no, never mind. Oh, are they trying to catch Dot? Let's go. The secret of the unopening door. I'm guessing that's Dodd's door. Oh, 
Motor dog, that's it. It's a girl, okay. Really? That doesn't sound good. Okay, so he was trying to lure her out with the donuts. That's nice. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Nah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So they all know it. <laughs> That's, that sounds good. Which area? Where are they going to land? On which region? Mm, yeah. oh. I wonder what region they're gonna be in. So, it's Kanto? I don't think the regions are supposed to be exactly like situated. Oh shit! Like exactly how they are in the real world. Like Kanto is not supposed to be exactly where Japan is, right? As opposed to Paldia being exactly where Spain is. Cute, I forgot about her. Oh, cute. <laughs> he pissed out. Oh, that's nice CG. That's really nice CG. Isn't the grandpa on the ship? I want to see more of with the... Why does the grandpa look so much like a grandpa? Ah, ha, ha. Oh, they're both staying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, she's just like me for real. She gets to stay here. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay, so this is okay. This is gonna be interesting. Good, I mean, oh. 
。なんでなんだろうまた。スマホロトムに買い物メモを送ったから、それぞれ手分けして食材の買い出し。パッと買ってちょっと戻る。やばい。That's a Paldean だろ、マカ。So this is Paldea. Not necessarily. It could just be a person from Paldea. Cute. A Lola Mock. Yeah, that's right. I forgot the head does, dude. Cute. Cute. Oh, he saw it. I wonder if they're Akrimi. I wonder if they're um, alluding to. They're always talking about some kind of treasure and stuff. I wonder if they're talking about it because of the treasure hunt in Paldia. Or if it's just like randomly. This is so fun. This anime is so fun. Whoa, he teleported there. Ah, for a. Yes, dot. Good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> about how it landed. Yeah. Ano, doto iru? Obento to doke ni kitan da kedo. Kwasi? Kwasu? Oh, she doesn't know. Oh, shit. It's the Hannah Montana moment. So nice to hear. Relationship. Yo. Nice. <laughs> it's Oh yeah. 
This anime is so good. Scamming a little kid. <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, he's the explorers. <laughs> Get scammed. Oh, I love this theme song. Yo, she would be such good friends. Actually... No, I don't think she would be good friends, but I think it would be very interesting to see her interact with Iono. Like Dot and Iono. That would be so cool. Like, I think they are complete opposites in terms of personalities, but I think it would be very interesting for to see two um, influencers, I guess, uh, interact. And Sai yeah, nice. Yo, su Raihan would also be interesting to see interact with them. That would be so cool. Like an True. Uh the bite balls. Yo, she is a VGC player. Aww. Is that her? Oh, it's Rico! <laughs> Get called out! <laughs> Yo, she's adorable! <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. Dota is such an interesting character. It adds so much to the show. Holy shit. It's such a cool dynamic. I really hope they might... They're gonna... There's gonna be a part where Iono and Dot interact and talk about like being influencers and stuff. That would be so cool. Yeah! Hinoko! Is he gonna catch it? I don't think he has any Pokeballs. Oh, he's just... he's just grinding. EXP. Onisuzume? That's what it's called? Um, Spiro? No. Ooh, I don't think... I don't think that's a good idea. 
Oh, this is such a good anime. Yeah, cute! Nyaha is so adorable. Me. Yeah? Look at it. Yeah? I wonder where we could find some of those things. This makes me so excited for the DLC, man. Maui is alchemy. That's cool. <laughs> nice. True. I love Rico as a main. You know what Rico reminds me of as a main protagonist? If you've seen, oh, this is gonna sound very out of left field, but if you seen, um, she reminds me of Cherry. But uh, if you've seen Violet Evergarden. It kind of reminds me like Rico is just observing things that are happening around her. She isn't that much involved in the actual plot. She's just going around and seeing the plot unfold. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But she's basically just a camera going around and watching stuff happen. I love that. Oh, she's falling for the trap. <laughs> oh, is he embarrassed? Yeah. Oh? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> That kind of reminds me of, yeah, Cherry or like, um, um what's the pre evolution called of Toxapex? Marni? No, not Marni. Marini? What's it called? It kind of reminds me of that with the hair. But mostly of Cherry. The great crater is that big? Seminar, time for a seminar. Get your pens out, get your notebooks out. Mm. You ready? Oni Suzume, okay. Mm. Is it territory or is it pride? Or is it all of them? I would say territory. Yup. Yeah, we've seen this the very first episode of Pokemon. This episode was... Honestly, this might have been my favorite episode so far, even though not much has happened. Dot is such an incredible addition to the show. She is so cool. Like, she's such an interesting character. She adds such a cool dynamic to the show with all the... Um, like, I don't know why. Maybe just because I'm interested in this kind of culture, but the influencer and, like, streamer, YouTuber, content creator culture in general is so cool to see in an anime. I really like the fact that they're, that Pokemon is embracing like modern aspects of the world and it's not just stuck in the past. I know a lot of people kind of don't like the fact that the new gym leaders are like influencers and like YouTubers and stuff like that. 
I personally really, really, really like that. I love that about... I think it gives them so much more personality. I think every single character in this show has so much personality. And it makes this show so much better for it. It's, it's so incredible. Like, I am just vibing a lot with this show. I think this show has a lot... Like, the characters in it are so different, so diverse. And I think it has... Is this a controversial thing to say? I think the characters themselves have a lot more personality than in the original anime. I think the original anime still has a lot of things that I personally really like over this one. But I think one big advantage this one has is the characters are so incredible. And I think it's the same thing with the games. I think the Gen 9 games, the gym leaders and all the characters in them, the rivals, the just every single side character in the main games in Gen 9, it's they have the most character out of every single Pokemon game so far. I think th they have the best characters in any Pokemon game so far. So I think even with Masuda no longer writing Pokemon games, I think it's still incredible. Or not Masuda not writing them. I'm, I know that he wasn't like the only person who was working on the games, but he's no longer in, uh, involved in the uh, game creation and the anime creation pro uh, process, right? So even though that happened, I think it's still getting better and better. So I am going to jump straight into the next one, which is going to be episode... Is it 9 or 10? Episode 9. This was 8, right? Yeah. So episode 9 of Pokemon Horizons. Let's go! Ancient. Oh, this is so good! Yeah. Dot. I love this. I love the character designs. Oh, you gotta watch it. <laughs> I already love Dot as a character. Here we go! I've been waiting for this. Oh, I'm so excited. This anime is... It's just something else. Yo! Outfits changes! Yeah! Can I, can, can I talk about it? So, sorry, I don't want to pause, but I, I think I mentioned it a few times. I love when characters change their outfits. This, it shows so much attention to detail and so much love for the anime. This is so good. I love this. Oh. <laughs> this anime is way too good. It has no business being so good, man. It's no. so good. Ah, okay, so we're gonna get a new goal for Rico. I've been waiting for this. I've been saying from the beginning that I wonder what Rico's goal was gonna end up being. Wait, sorry, I missed it. Um, I missed it. Ah, okay, in the window. I see. I see, I see. The fan subs are so good. Hard subbing is so so much better than soft subbing. Thank you again to the person who commented this. I appreciate the help. Oh, look at it! <laughs> Wait, Orange Academy. Was it called Orange Academy specifically for the anime? 
I think it was Uva Academy and what was I think it was Uva in Scarlet and uh, was it Orange and Violet? No, I don't remember. It's been a while. Siklizar. Moto Tokage. Moto Tokage. Like a motorcycle? Nice. Gen 9 is so good. I love this game so much, guys. Cute! Cute! Matcha cake? Because Nyaoha likes matcha. This is way too this is way too adorable. What was that look about? Nyao hasn't met the, her parents yet. Ah, because her goal is gonna or like her journey is gonna end. I really am curious what... Yeah? You sure are carefree? Yeah, I wonder what her goal is gonna end up being. I really am interested in that. Oh, it's Grandpa. Grandpa Jampa. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with that, but you hey, spit your lines. Hopip. Hopip is on the first route. That's the Mona's house. No, that's our house. Right? Yeah, that's our house. In Gen 9. Yeah, it is! That's so cool. Fido! Fido, Fido, Fido not Fido. Not Fido. Papi Mochi. That's adorable. <laughs> the dad is actually home. Yo. It's an artist. I love the dad. I really love him. Yo, it's been a while since you last seen a dad in po in a Pokemon game. Holy shit, Alex. Yo, a rapid dash and a growlet or um, Arcanine? Aww. That's insane. Does he like fire types? Garop and Windy? That's cool. Yo, he just went for it. Oh, poor thing. Oh, Nyaha. 
Yo, sh you didn't get introduced. Happy Mochi is so, such an adorable name for a Pokemon. <laughs> for Fido. Aww. 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 She's jealous. She's jealous because of Happy Mochi, yeah. Also, oh, Rico is all over the place. Poor thing. I wonder who's gonna talk some sense into her because she is extremely all over the place. It makes sense though. Sorry for the weird cut. We're back. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot going on with her. I feel her. Poor thing. Yeah, he obviously. Oh, now he's still here. Cute. Pico and Roy set off. Also, do we know how old Rico is? Ten? What about Roy? What? We don't know. Coffee? Yeah. お父さんのことよくわかってんじゃん。ああ、先生。私のこと、あんなに心配してたのに知らなかった。あんなの聞いちゃったら。キューティー。大事。リコがどうしたいかしら。私、変だと思わせてほしいって話した時から変わっていない
ないこと。おはよう。ロイ、コゲータ、おはよう。あのさ、ニャオハのことなんだけど。<笑>きっと、昨日リコがパピモッチと仲良くしてたから。Yeah, he knows. It's okay. It's okay. You're a beginner owner. Or partner, I guess. I should say not owner. It happens. Yod. I love this. How she's leaning out of, out of the bar, out of the frame. Oh, oh shit! Oh, she's kind of acknowledging the ship as her home. That's nice. Oh no. No, Rico's gonna find it. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that's a... Oh, she's so adorable. Paldien Toros. Lechong! Nyaoha, come! This must have been ex expensive. Yeah, get him! The music is banging. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, no. It's for the game? Yeah! <laughs> Get fucked! Yo, she actually looks like an important character. Her design looks like a, a main character design. I keep thinking that's a Sol Galeo. <laughs> Holy shit. It's an Arcanine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Of course he's gonna let you. <laughs> In your paws. <laughs> Cute. Cute. <laughs> yeah. What's that flavor? Yeah. Is there a Pokemon that evolves differently based on the nature? Is there? Maybe in Paldia there is. Because I know Paldia has some wild ass evolutions. I don't remember. Aww. Wait, sorry. Can I? Let me. What was that? What was that? Uh, Star Moon. Uh, that is that Yami Yami? Or nah? I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Yeah. Oh. Bowl Town? What's Bowl Town? Did he add Nyaoha to a picture? Papi Mochi. <laughs> Papi Mochi is such an adorable name. Ooh. Cute! <laughs> okay, get your pencils, get your notebooks. It's time for a seminar. Papi Mochi. <laughs> really? It makes them swell up. Hey. Yeah. That makes sense because it's a dog. It expands. It swells up. Yep. <laughs> I just saw this a second of preview. I, I okay. I I wasn't sure whether I should do another episode or not today. I'm doing another episode now that I saw the preview. I have to do it. Okay. Um. Uh. I I don't wanna dwell too long on the episode. This anime just keeps getting better and better. I really like the fact that we got like a bit of like a Rico, like kind of. I guess it's not really growing up, but it's kind of um realizing some stuff about herself. Uh, and maturing a tiny bit in this arc, I really like this, or in this episode, I should say, it was it was really nice. It was Rico figuring out like stuff about how her parents think and how she should be thinking because of that. It was really nice. I wonder what her uh, goal is gonna end up being for going with Rising Voltakers. But either way, this was an incredible, incredible episode. It was so nice. It was so wholesome, so cute, and. I am going to jump right into the next one because I am so excited to see a certain character pop up in the next episode. Oh my god. So let's go into Pokemon Horizons episode 10. Episode. Is it 10? Uh, wait. Let me. 
Let me make sure I open the. Yes, then. Let's go! Yes, sir! Yes, that's right. In Bowl Town? Ah! Was this always called Bowl Town? Even in the game? Or is this the Japanese name for it? I don't remember. It's the town with... Is it Brasius? The grass type gym leader. Small it! Miniv? Why? <laughs> Why not just keep the name the same then? Mini if small if? Some flora! Himawari. Kulsa is Brasius. I see. Yeah! Yo! Yeah, let's go. I'm excited. I'm so excited. This is the episode I'm most excited for. Nemo! Why is her Japanese name Nemo, by the way? Why not just keep it Nemona? But that's the character I'm excited about. She's such a good rival. Her voice is so good! Yeah! I love Nimona so much! She's so scary but she's so cool! Tropius. I really do wonder where this anime is gonna go with like gyms and stuff because it doesn't seem like either of them are yet interested in doing the gym challenge but that's just so far I wonder if they are gonna end up doing it <laughs> oh, she's gonna get yeah. 
strange. <laughs> I want that. I need that. I need that teapot. I need this cup. Yo, that's like a one liter cup. I need this. That's so cool. A victory belt. That's so cool. Dwarf, that's so cute. Olinho. <laughs> that's adorable. Olinho. That's adorable. Cute! Sweet scent! <laughs> Olinio! Olinio is such a good name! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's about to flip. This guy's scary. <laughs> Are you drinking coffee? Wait, how old is Nomona? I don't know how old she is. There's no clear answer. Hmm? Uh. The girl in the DLC explained what the slump is. From the girl from uh, Sino. I don't remember her name. The hot one. The descendant of the dude from Legends Arcus. The girl who was hunting Ursaluna with us. She was explaining what the artistic slump was. Nice. Aww, Olinio. <laughs> hey, the gym challenge. Here it is. You have to lead them back into... Yeah. You have to have them follow you. Yeah. That's a statue, yeah. <laughs> I love how they're doing it. Like, it's the same challenge that you have to do in the game, but it's done in like, different circumstances here. I like it. Cute! <laughs> I love them all now. Yes, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I like Brasis. I like all the gym leaders in Paldia. He is scary though. <laughs> That's huge. Yeah. I love this, honestly. Oh, this is so good. The animation is going hard. We all thought that at the beginning. We were all there at some point. That hit him, yeah. Yeah, against the rock type? Yo, he's pulling out the substitute? That's dirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how substitute works, my guy. <laughs> Yeah? Well, now you are Yeah, 
Oh yeah. I was thinking encore. Oh, Blaze? Is that stopping tantrum? Yeah, it is. Nice. <laughs> I love how Nomona is just fixated only on battling. She's so cool. Yup. Artistic and tactic. You hear it is. Terrestrializing. Grass type. The music though. Trailblaze? Yup. Speed up. It's not very effective, but speed went up. Yup. Ah. Uh, you did well for the first battle. What is that? Ah, okay. Is it an arboliva? What? What? It doesn't look like a normal arboliva. I have no idea what that's about.
Let's go. Time to learn. Olinio. That's adorable. Oil. 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 Obviously. Okay, this is yeah, yeah this is the easiest one so far. Watch me be wrong. Okay, okay. Okay, so this was episode 10. Uh, okay, yeah, so we met some new characters, some really, really interesting characters, that being Colza, that's uh, Brasius, right? I think that's his name. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's his name. And Nimona. Holy shit, I've been waiting to see Nimona. Oh, yes. Yes, I really, really like Nimona uh, as a rival. She's one of my favorite rivals of all time, for sure. Uh, I really like her. She has so much personality. Uh, I love her um, team as well. Her team is so good. The last team that you fight, when you fight her, like, at the very end of the game, that's so good. Um, but anyways... We got to know more about where the Rayquaza may be. We got to see some things that not that were not even in the game, right? That weird ass or uh, Arboliva and the Pokemon at the very end. I have no idea what that was. So that's gonna be interesting to see. I also am wondering how they're gonna go about the gym challenges. If they're actually gonna end up picking up the like the gym challenge, or if it's gonna be just like. A training thing, you know, where they do a gym challenge every now and then just to train a bit, but they don't actually go for the badges. I do wonder. Uh, and still, we're trying to find out what Rico's goal is gonna end up being. I'm sure we're gonna find out at some point during the Paldea journey, probably. Yeah, that she's gonna find a new goal for her journey. So I wonder what that's gonna be. And this is gonna be all for the for episodes 8 to 10 i think this was right so this was incredible this was so good this anime just, just keeps getting better so i am excited for the next one so i'm probably gonna do a i might actually even do it this week like tomorrow or something i'm not sure i can't promise anything maybe it's gonna be next week no promises um but this was all if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to see the full uncut and blurred version as i said it's going to be on page on my patreon link in the description down below and i'll see you in the next one peace